In this week's parasha, we're told the story of Shifra and Pua. Shifra and Pua, the mother and sister of Maishah Benu, Miriam and Yocheved. So the Torah tells us that they were the midwives of the Jewish people. And Paro, as we know, commanded them, told them to, when, when they're acting as midwives, if a baby boy is born, to kill the baby boy and to only allow the girls to survive. And the Torah tells us that the midwives, these Hamialdos, feared Hashem and they disobeyed Paro and they allowed the boys to live as well. And the Torah tells us, that as a reward for the fact that the midwives feared Hashem, the Yaslam Batam Hashem made them houses. What does it mean, houses? So Rashi explains it means that Hashem uh, rewarded them that in their, in their descendants there would be the houses of Kahun of the priesthood and Malchus. David Melech ultimately traces his lineage, at least on one side, back to these women, Miriam and Yocheved, and uh, the Kahanim as well. And so that's the reward for these women. Now there's a teaching from the Ishbitzer that Apidrosh, again, uh, uh, more metaphorically, he explains that this pasuk, this phenomenon that Hashem gave them houses as a response for their fear of Hashem, is telling us something, uh, something about us as well. The Ishbitzer points out, he says, generally speaking, when a person in this world is afraid of something, fear is usually an emotion that conjures up um, a sense of being unsettled. No one wants, no one likes to be afraid. Um, even though there is a phenomenon of like watching a scary movie or reading a scary book, which needs explanation in and of itself. But generally speaking, people don't like to be to be to be scared. And, and when a person is scared of something or afraid of something, it makes one feel unsettled. This is an unsettled feeling uh, and lack of confidence. That's in truth what what causes fear is when you when when there's something that you don't understand or don't know that that adds to the fear because it, it, it builds to the unsettled factor because you, you're confronted with something that you don't understand. Yet the Yishritzer explains that one of the ideals of Yiddishkeit is Yiras Hashem, to fear Hashem. And said the Yishritzer, what the Pasuk is telling us is that the fear of Hashem is different than all other fears. Again, all other fears of this world, it makes you feel unsettled and a lack of confidence. Whereas the Pasuk says, because they feared Hashem, Hashem gave them houses. What is a house? It says the Yishvah, a house is a place that you feel comfortable in. A house is a place that you feel settled in, that you feel secure in, that you feel safe. So the Yishvah, the nature of Yerushalayim is such that it should promote within the person, it should develop within the person, an actual confidence and a sense of security. If a person fears Hashem, thinks they fear Hashem, and that creates a, a panic-stricken person, someone who lacks confidence, who lacks courage, who just wants to you know, pull the covers over his head because he's afraid of making, the, making any mistake and going to hell for it. That's not healthy Yerushalayim. A healthy Yerushalayim, a healthy fear and awe of God should result in confidence and courage and a sense of closeness to that God. It should result in a house. It should result in you feeling settled and healthy. And that's an important thing to remember, that Yerushalayim, fearing God and being a God-fearing Jew, does not mean to be someone who's afraid and terrorized. It means someone who, quite the opposite, has a sense of Hashem's presence, always, and that sense of presence creates within them a, um, a, a a sense of courage and, and, and purpose and creates within the person a, a, a mentality of always being on guard, of always making sure that they live up to that standard. But it should not deteriorate into, into fear. So Hashem should help that we should all become Yerushimai, people that have that sense of Hashem's presence and be courageous and comfortable with that presence at the same time. We should come into Shabbos with the Nefesh and the and both individually and collectively see the redemption of our people. We ask God Tzedek, Mervi Meinu, Amen. Thank you, Hashem. Thank you, Hashem. Thank you.